are here at the plant farm in Spokane, Washington, and today Pam is going to teach us how to make cocoa moss poles for your aeroids or other topsy-turvy plants so they can grow bigger leaves, get fenestration for some, and just be more supported in their growth. <laughs> Ready? Alright, so we've got our cocoa liner and a steak, some twine, and staple gun. So, super simple. You just want to start. I like to attach my cocoa liner to the pole from the get go just so that you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding. So, I will take it and just flip it over and just give it a couple of staples just to not have to have to play with it too much. You're gonna No. No? No. <laughs> All right. So then you want to just take it and just, oh, nope, we're going to do this first. We're going to attach, also with a staple, we're going to attach our twine so that it's not loose while you're trying to wrap it. And that one will just give one staple. You're just going to have to wait. <laughs> because I'm not going to, because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Right. So we'll go ahead and just wrap this kind of tight, all the way down, and just wrap it around your pole. That's how you get to the end. And then you're just going to take this and wrap all the way up. Pulling it tight as needed as you go. And if you have loose spots like this, it'll be fine because we're going to cover that when we go back down. How do you know what size pole you need for your plant? That's a great question. I would always go bigger than smaller because as your plant grows, you don't want to have to pull it off of your pole and put it onto a new pole. So I would always go bigger. So kind of I, maybe what you're hoping your long-term plan is going to be. Pre-cutting? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, it could go. It could go either way. I mean, it, there, you know what, generally how big it's going to be how big you're going to want it to stay, and maybe you'll cut it. If it gets so big, then maybe it's time to cut your plant. Yeah. So now we're going to, we're going back down, trying to hit where you might have a bubble. Just go all the way back down. When we get down to the bottom, then I'll wrap around the pole just a couple of times to make sure it stays tight. And give it one last staple. Maybe two. And cut it off. And you've got it ready. And then you can put it into your plant, into the back side of your plant. And then you would use something like a greening pin or more twine or anything that, that will help you attach the plant until it attaches itself. Thank you so much, Pam, for showing us. You're welcome.